Hey, hi, and howdy. It's James from App Spy here again. And look, here's a blast from the sort of past. I'm playing Duke Nukem Manhattan Project, which was originally released in 2002 and was then ported onto Xbox Live sometime like a year or two ago, I think. I've just literally sparked this new app up and uh, it's going to be coming out for iOS on iPhone and iPad next week. Uh, I think Thursday would be the day that it will drop universally. Um, it is a 2.5D platformer, if my memory serves me correctly. So it's not the standard first person game that you see from, you know, Duke Nukem 3D and all that. This was their uh, alternative take on the Duke Nukem universe. The question is, how well has it translated to touch screen? We're about to find out. Where is he? There he is, everyone's favorite bleach blonde chauvinist pig. Oh my god! God, look at all the buttons. Good grief. Um, okay, that's a lot of buttons. And I'm already being shot at by a pig. There he goes. Okay, so uh, all of our movement commands on the left-hand side. We can presumably jump. We can shoot. I can duck and shoot. I need to do that. Shoot, damn it. There he goes. Um, wow, that is a lot of buttons. I can climb this thing by pushing up. I've got some ammo. I can now climb back down again. Presumably, where's my jump command? Um, okay, I know where that is. That's right there. I'm being stupid. Uh, collect 10 nukes uh, and increase my maximum ego. Because, as we know, Duke Nukem runs on ego because he's so hilariously outdated. He runs on 90s-style machismo and uh, uh, chauvinism and all that. Not very cool stuff that we, we kind of uh, grew out of a while back, I always thought. But, you know, he keeps plugging on. He's that kind of, um, he's from an outmoded age. He's a relic to some degree. Most recent incarnations of the Duke, I'm pushing up to go in there, uh, have sort of suffered. Duke Nukem Forever was a spectacular failure. Uh, mainly because it took 14 years for the thing to be made. Um, oh, that was probably not the thing to do. Uh, yeah, it took so long for the thing to appear, and when it did finally appear, it was a horrible, shoddy mess. Um, which isn't surprising, because it was the development from hell, from uh, what we hear. Um, I'm not going to be able to jump here without getting electrocuted, am I? Damn, I already have been. I can blast his piggy ass, though. What are my first impressions? This is a... Looks pretty solid. Looks quite similar to the Xbox version, if I remember correctly. I think it's a pretty faithful uh, version. It's obviously a 2.5D platformer, so in the form of, I don't know, what was the one that was uh, on Xbox Live that was quite popular? With the Unreal Engine. Oh, it slipped my mind. But you know what a 2.5D platformer is by now. It's all 3D. Uh, visually, but you can only move back and forth on a 2D plane. I'm gonna... I'm totally gonna die here if I jump across, aren't I? Oh, it started electrocuting the water, but then it stopped, didn't it? Let's wait till it stops, maybe. Do I have the patience to wait till it stops? No, clearly I don't. I'm just gonna have to try and jump in and not die. Ah! Dagnamit. Hang on, how do I climb up? I've got no idea how to get back up to the top again. Oh, this sucks. Oh, yeah, dying is probably the way forward. Maybe it'll put me in a decent place. Can you? Really? I can't. Oh, there we go. That's good, I think. Jump over to there. Yep, that's good. And then to there. Ah, oh, I didn't see that, that thing. Oi. Uh, this isn't going well at all. Okay, so if I can see a switch, I can press the button. What did it do? The generator has been temporarily turned off. Oh, I see. Okay. So it was off, and I now have to get in the water quick. Run over to the other side, grab whatever that is, and then leg it back again. Got a nuke. Check me out. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Oh, he wants me to climb the ladder and shoot the piggy first. Why won't he hook onto the side? He could hang on to uh, 
other areas, but not that guy. I can shoot sideways, and that sorted that pig out. Now let's jump on over. And miss completely. Let's try again. That's better. He's up. Uh, I'm going to guess I can jump up here. I guessed wrong. Can I jump over here? Ooh, just. Up. Shoot him. Jump. Okay. Sorry about the death. That was a bit awkward. Let's carry on. There's always been a problem with Duke Nukem titles, especially nowadays. Back in the 90s, it was seen as terribly sort of kitsch. His chauvinist attitudes, and it was all done in a very, what was supposed to be, ironic way. Uh, the irony hasn't translated that well in the modern games. It just plays as a kind of old hat and a bit borderline offensive, not to be too wussy about it at all. It's just like, if it's supposed to be a joke, which originally it was, and then that's fine, provided the joke is funny. And in recent versions of the game, specifically Duke Nukem Forever, it just wasn't very funny at all. It just kind of played as a bit dumb and a bit lazy, I guess, playing on very old stereotypes. It also didn't help that the game was a mechanical mess, so, you know. As far as this one plays, it feels... I don't know. Rigid, I suppose, is the word for it. All the controls are quite... Sorry, I missed what he said there, but I'm sure it was hilarious. Uh, yeah, everything feels a bit stiff. Um, the amount of buttons taking up the entire screen is quite something. As you can see by the controller, it really does take up over a quarter of the screen. Quick, shoot. So I'm, I'm covering a lot up a lot of real estate with my thumbs here. Jump, damn it. Why won't you jump high? Uh, whoa, whoa. Man, this is awkward. Okay, that worked. Just about. I can climb down here. I mean, little things, like when he jumps onto an, a platform, he'll jump up and he'll hang on with his arms, and then when you press jump to get actually pull yourself up onto the platform, his arms kind of stay outright. Stay, stay, sorry, upright, like pointing to the sky. It looks a bit rubbish. It might be because of the ports, because it's an old game, and they've kept that from the original release, but I would have thought they'd have, I don't know, tidied it up. See if I can use this to get up high. There we are. This will be a barrel of lambs. Well, that was kind of smooth. That was good. I like that. I've opened a door somewhere. And uh what's this? So many baits, so little time. Oh lord. Three babes strapped to glop bombs, and you must find them and rescue them. Oh, yay! Yay! Pushing the uh, cause uh, of decent representation of women in games forward. That's a bit po face. Obviously, this isn't trying to do that. It's supposed to be a bit of fun. But. I don't know. Are we past this? Are we past the whole Duke Nukem thing at this point? Is this still funny? Because, I don't know. I'm not laughing all that hard. Oh, hello. There's a thing up here. Still, mechanically, it's, I, I guess, functional. Let me blow these up. Can I blow these up? Hey, that's more like it. Hey, that's good. That's something. Anyway, I'm going to go and find a yellow keycard and play this a bit more. Uh, you can look forward to seeing this next week, sometime around Thursday. Duke Nukem Manhattan Project. We'll catch up with you later. Bye-bye. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.